I, I feel like I haven't vlogged in a minute. It's probably been at least, I want to say, two, three weeks, maybe even a month. I don't know. But anyways, um, at the time this video go up, it'll look like I had just vlogged the week before. But that's not true because the way my videos are set up, they're spaced out when I vlog, but they are scheduled every Saturday at 11 a.m. So with that being said, today is Saturday, March 26th, 2022. I think I last vlogged um, was it March 12th? So like two weeks probably ago when I went to Napa. So it's been about two weeks. Um, and I am in the car. I just got myself all gathered and everything. I had gotten up because I was doing readings for um, homework and everything because I have another quiz that I have to take today. And um, my godmother called me yesterday at telling me to come over today because they're throwing a party for someone or for her son-in-law and her husband. Um, I believe, I'm not sure. Um, but I believe that's what it's for. And so I didn't want to be just the eyeball out. So I gathered myself. Couldn't finish my readings or anything. I have 25 more pages to read. But um, I kind of gathered myself. And um, put some clothes on. Look a little bit decent. It's a little bit warm out here. So I don't know if I look like sweaty or anything. It's probably the face lotion I put on. But anyways, I gathered myself. And now I'm in the car. And the first stop we're going to make is Starbucks because this video is sponsored by my friend Brenda for buying me Starbucks today. Thank you so much, girl. And if you want to buy me coffee, Starbucks, or whatever, hit your girl up. Let me know. I'll drop the cash out below. <laughs> Anyways, no. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and get my Starbucks and then... Um, then we're going to hit on the road. My, I've said it before, my godmother lives about, just about an hour away from me. So we're going on a road trip. And where is, what am I doing? What is you doing, toy? Y'all, I just had it. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, it was sitting on my lap the whole time. I was looking for the thing for my sunglasses, but um, yeah. So we're gonna head to Starbucks and then get on the road. The time is now 11:42 a.m. and they said around 12, 1 o'clock. So I'll probably be there more at the 1 o'clock end. So yeah. I'm trying to be nosy because some somebody moving in or out of my building. So I'm trying to see who it is. You know, but anyways. Um, when I get on the road or get wherever, I don't know. I'll just hit y'all back. Today is a school work day for me as well. Like I, like I was saying, um, I have a lot of reading and a lot of homework to do and a lab to finish and just, there's a whole lot. So, um... I will hit y'all back. So I'm currently in route. I probably got half a more hour drive, like 30 more minutes. And yeah, it's I actually love the drive. The this particular drive is so it's beautiful. The scenery, <clears throat> water, the green open fields, it's just it's beautiful. So far from city life. But we are on the way. I did get my Starbucks, so I have been drinking that and just chilling. I was talking to my friend.
and then I just finished listening to a podcast by one of my favorite authors for years. Um, I just so adore her. I adore her. And I, yeah, I was just listening to one of her podcasts. Um, the author by the name of Kimberla Lawson Roby, who has the Curtis Black series, you know, the drama with the pastor and and everything in his family. But anyway, so I was listening. She has a podcast called The Woman God Created You to Be. And I enjoy listening to her. So that's what I'm doing. And we are heading in route. Almost there. So I'll check in a bit. Bye for now. So it is basically 6 p.m. And I'm in route home. I've been driving for about about a good 30 minutes already. Um... And I have to drop this plate off at my friend's house. And we're going to go home, study, and do some homework. So, yeah, just checking in. Okay. Beautiful blue skies today. So, of course, it is the next day when I actually started the vlog. I didn't vlog anything at my godparents' house because, um, uh, uh, yeah, everybody was there, everybody was having a good time, I was doing homework, <laughs> then we had some good food and everything, um, it was a birthday party for my godfather and his son-in-law, and I guess they were celebrating it together, but anyways, yeah, I didn't vlog because sometimes I do think it's disrespectful to vlog in other people's houses because they didn't sign up for that. So I kind of just left it for what it was. Um, I was going to vlog after I left, but honestly, I was just trying to get back home um, because they live an hour away and I had homework to do. And it turns out when I did finally get home, I was just done. Like, I didn't want to do any work. I literally tried reading the chapters, going through things, and I just didn't want to do anything. And I ended up staying up until like midnight, <sighs> trying to like gather my thoughts and everything. And the funny thing is I was watching, like I was watching some little um, shorts on YouTube and Tabitha Brown popped up and she started talking about, um, or she just was giving a word of encouragement, just a really short clip saying you know hey you are okay you're okay everything is okay you're gonna make it like these are things that i've always said to myself and i think that's one of the reasons why i've been able to just overcome adversity in my life because i do talk to myself like that at times but to hear someone else directly saying it and i felt like she was talking directly to me i literally just start bawling and crying watching it like bawling my eyes out and I'm just like oh lord um but anyways I ended up going to sleep around midnight yesterday then uh, my plan was to wake up early today like at seven um start reading the rest of the chapter which is about was about like 20 more pages and then take my quiz but that didn't work out because I kept snoozing the alarm. I was just tired, my brain, I was just mentally drained. And I think I woke up around 8.30 and then I laid in bed until like 8.40 something. And then I finally got up, went in the kitchen, put some breakfast on, um, put my dog's food out. And then I went back to starting reading those chapters. I went ahead and read the remaining chapters and then ate my breakfast, and then I began to look over my notes, and then I took the quiz. <sighs> took the quiz. I'm not going to even talk about how that went. Yeah, I took the quiz. And then um, I had meal prepped um, and got all that food together, and then um, so that I can have food for um, next week. And then after I meal prepped, I got my laundry together because I need to come to the wash house, which it is back here. You probably can't see it, but this back here is my laundry unit. I just finished, so 
my laundry is now done um now i can go home i need to back out while i'm talking y'all so now i can go home Ugh, hold on y'all hold on Oh, okay, I'm sorry, y'all. But anyways, now I can go home, but I'm just tired. So when I get home, I have an assignment. Here, let me get you guys up. I have an assignment for my other class that's due next week. Um, like Monday, I think it's due. But anyway, so I already start that assignment, and that's not it's not really a difficult assignment, but I still need to do it right. So um, I started it. I need to put more attention to it tonight and finish the assignment. And then what I'll do is when I wake up in the morning at 4.30, I will, um, before work, before I head to work, I will reread it and go over it again, and then I'm going to submit it tomorrow. But that's what I'm going to do when I get back to the house is that assignment for my second class. And then we have to, um, my group in my SATS class, we have to submit our lab. So it is just really challenging to say the least. It's been a very challenging week or two, <laughs> but we're getting through it and we're going to be okay. We're getting this breeze feels so good, but um, yeah, so I'm hoping that I can get that homework done. I'm glad I'm meal prep because I don't have to go home and meal prep, but I'm hoping I can get that homework done for my second class so that way, you know, in a decent hour, so that way I could go ahead and um, watch the um, season two of Bridgerton. Can y'all hear me? I don't think y'all can hear me. Okay, yeah, I was saying that um, I want to watch, start watching season two of Bridgerton because, because that's out on Netflix. So I'm going to start watching that tonight, but we'll see. The time is 3.30, so I'm at home at a decent hour. Um, and I do have to put my clothes away when I get home because I've just been drained and those clothes will stay not put up for a while if I don't immediately do it when I get in. So, <sighs> yeah. Yes. Um, anyways, I'll hit y'all back. So I just came out the store getting food for my dog because she ran out of food and I need to make sure that she has food to eat. The past few days have been very hard to say the least. Very very hard and I'm not sure that I am emotionally ready to talk about it on camera. Um, but I'm trying to hold myself together. Um, I do have to go to work tomorrow. I've been off for a couple days. Um, but I have, do have to go to work tomorrow. And today we're actually off or um, the store is closed. So I'm just like really trying to hold myself together. And it's just a lot is happening right now as we speak. By the way, this is March 31st, 2022. And so we're in March. This vlog will probably be posted sometime in August. Um, because my videos are already posted and scheduled out all throughout August. And I did that on purpose so that I wouldn't have to vlog every day because I'm not an everyday vlogger. But yeah, it's it's difficult. I have a lot of grown-up decisions to make right now and my head hurts so now i'm on my way to the dollar tree the dollar 25 tree because i need to i need to get some um things for a couple more things for my dog and then um vitamins they so what i need to get is the um what do you call it 
the puppy pads. They have, I usually get them from Amazon in the bulk of 100. And um, they went up on their price, so I'm just contemplating if I'm going to still get those or not. But in the meantime, Dollar Tree has them in the pack of five for a dollar, dollar twenty-five or something like that. I don't know. So I was just going to go ahead and get a couple packs of those. And then I also need some vitamins. And the Dollar Tree, dollar twenty-five tree, again, has the vitamins that I've been using since our world is just going up in costs and everything and that. Yeah, so enough of rambling. Let's go to the other store. I'm so tired too. So, okay, so I just came like a dollar free. Those are the little um, puppy pads I was talking about. I thought it was five, but it's actually three pads. But um, I got two of them, and I think I have one at home. And this will hold us over until I figure out if I want to pay the high increase of that or kind of shop around a little bit to see um, if I can get a better bulk, bulk price um, or whatever. And then... Um, I've been taking these, which is the fish oil and the calcium, which is just for, um, heart health and bone health. And so I've been taking these, I was going to get the vitamin D and all that stuff. I take all of them, all of them every day, but, um, these in particular, or all of them actually in particular, um, I get them here at the Dollar Twenty Five Tree um, sometimes, but I usually go ahead and get it at the regular store. But everything is so expensive now. Also, um, the elderberry is really good. So, as you can probably tell right now, it is pretty warm. I'm getting hot, and it does not help that I have on all black. But I turned on some air. Uh, I'm headed to I'm headed to um, ooh, hiccups the gas station to put gas in my car like I said I have to go to work tomorrow I'm just not feeling it but I have to go to work tomorrow it's Friday tomorrow anyway so that's fine and then I'll have the weekend and then I'll work all next week and then I'm off on vacation for a week but just so much is happening right now anyways um we're gonna go put gas in the car and then i'm gonna get me something cold to drink um i haven't been eating much at all um for the past like three or four days probably three days i have not been eating much so it's been about four days yeah i have not been eating much i, I ate just a little something but not nearly as much as I'm used to eating during the day or just every day just to keep my energy and whatever. I probably ate a little portion of something yesterday and today and my energy is just depleted. I don't want to start crying on this camera so I need to click off and I will see you guys in a bit. Can I get started for you today? Hi, can I get a grande caramel frap? Of course. Anything else? And an ice water. Okay. That will be all. All right. I have you at four ninety five. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. My energy is so depleted. Look tired. But I put gas in my car. I'm getting me this drink from Starbucks, and um, I don't think I can eat any food. I need to study, and I have one more test for this week to take because we have three tests a week 
for my stats class and so I have one more test that I gotta finish studying for and then hopefully I can just take that today when I'm done with the chapter readings and video lectures and stuff and then I have to finish my lab which is a lot right now it's a lot but gotta get it done right So yeah, I'm gonna get this drink and then I'm gonna go home. I got the doggy food back here for Coco. And so that way she'll be taken care of because she ran totally out of food. But let me get in this house. Okay, I got my little drink. It's kind of hard. Like I need a little pep in my step. It's kind of hard studying and taking tests and everything when you're experiencing loss. If I wasn't like really trying to graduate in December, I would just <laughs> drop the class. But I just, I can't.